video for chapter 2.4 guide block uh, the dimensions are in inches so I'm going to go file new part okay come down here change my units to inches and pounds go to sketch sketch again here choose the front plane and my length is 3.62 so I'm going to go line click it anywhere go to smart dimension 3.62 enter go to line go to my origin go straight up and I want to go 1.5 so I just pick anywhere again smart dimension 1.5 let me straighten that up okay line over smart dimension and that's going to be 0.75 enter line up smart dimension 0.5 enter line smart dimension from this corner to that corner and again it's hard to tell when you look in the book but it almost looks like 1.63 check that off then I'm going to go to line pick up where I left off kind of draw this the way it looks come down go back to smart dimension choose the top line choose this line type in 30 for my angle come down to the bottom line and the slope line and choose 60 for my angle here okay I'm gonna attempt to go ahead and put that hole in I'm gonna go check off the dimension go to circle drop that in for my radius, I'm going to use 0.375, smart dimension, from the end to the center is going to be 1.5, from the bottom to the center is going to be 1, enter. Exit sketch tilt it, go to features, extrude base, and type in 2, enter. Let me check that off. I'm thinking this might be one point. Just say right now I did this at 2. I d looking back, I believe it's going to be 1.5. So all I have to do is go over to my boss extrude right here, right click, and go to edit feature. And all I have to do right here is change that 2 to 1.5 and hit enter. And then check it off. It's just that simple. Okay? I'm going to go up to my view orientation and I'm going to look at it from the top. I'm going to put a sketch on the highest point which is here I'm going to go to rectangle and I'm just going to choose any spot out here and I'm going to take it all the way over to the end I'm going to go to smart dimension and from this line to that line is going to be 0.25 enter from the, this line to the back line 0.25 enter 
this line to this line, 0.25 enter. And then I'm going to exit sketch. I'm going to hit my scroll button, and I'm just I'm holding down the scroll button where I can turn this around and get it like this. I'm going to go to feature, and what we want to do is cut that rectangle. So I'm going to extrude cut, and this set it two, but I want to leave a quarter inch in the bottom. So what I'll type in is 1.5. And check that off. And again, see how this is too big here? If I need to change it, just right click, go to Edit Feature, and I'm just going to type a 7 in there. And then check it off and now it corrects it and leaves my quarter inch at the bottom and that's all you have to do for that model um, pretty simple for that go to file save as and again you're going to save this on on your jump drive I'm saving it as chapter two point four let me back that up. Capital 2.4. Save it. Go to File, New, Drawing, OK. B Landscape is what we want. Hit OK. Go to the View Palette. Browse for your drawing. Let's back up here. I seem to have lost it. 2.4. I'm going to drag that into this folder. It won't let me. F I'll do it later. But So I'll click 2.4 and I'll open it. Bring my front view. I'm just holding down the left mouse. And that scale looks pretty good, so I don't think I'm going to have to change anything with it. Come up here and put my top view, right side, isometric. Hit Escape. Your Escape is on your top left corner of your keyboard. And I'm just going to hold down the left mouse and drag it over here. Okay, I'm going to go to click this view, show hidden lines, this view, hidden lines. Show hidden lines. Click this view. Shaded with edges. Okay. Check that off. Smart dimension. I'm going to start out with my circle. Bottom. Okay. See how it's giving me an odd dimension? I'm going to hit escape. Right away, I know I got to go to inches and pounds. Smart dimension, bottom line to the center, one. Left to the center, one and a half. Diameter, point seven five. Bottom line to here, one five. I'm going to go ahead and put my overall over here. Our overall dimension height always goes on this side. And I'm going to put that thickness here. Come back over here. One, two, and then from this corner to that corner, put that in. From that side, to the very point, 3.62. My angles, I'm going to click that surface, this surface, put my 30 degree, click the bottom line, click the slope line, put in 60. 
come up to the top I'm gonna go to annotate center line put my center line in for here and my center line from here to there check that off go to smart dimension put in a quarter here and maybe a quarter here okay come over to your title block note capital C 2.4 check it off go back to note your name check it off note material capital carbon steel that's pretty much for that drawing um, chapter 2.4